So Brad, I appreciate you joining me this morning here on the Tar River in Rocky Absolutely. Mount. Uh, we're uh, we're going to try to get a nice early start, catch us some American or white shad here on the Tar River, and then uh, head on up midday to uh, Weldon and chase hickories. So what do you think about that? I think it's going to make for an exciting day. I can't wait. You've got a you've got an interesting plan for us. Uh, we're going to cover two coastal North Carolina rivers on the same day. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a very uh, nice thing about this this part of the stage. You can do both in the same day. We've got our shad rigs uh, and our ultralights, and we're ready to, ready to go. It's going to be great. Let's get after it. All right. I, I wonder if we'll, we'll catch one on the first cast. Let's see. It happens a lot. Is this, is this going to be a the, the fish are, The to fish see? are here. It's late March. This is the peak of the shad run, so there are plenty of them around. Oh, missed him. Oh. He hit me, Brad. Well, a nice kind of steady slow retrieve is usually the preferred uh, technique. All right, Brad, first look up of the day. How many casts was that? Three casts? Uh, I think the third cast, uh, he, he took it right away. Um, pretty Let's good. see what you got, got here. Hopefully it's a it. white shad. It, it could be it a hickory. Feels like it, it feels like it's got a, a good little pool. Huh? So I'm, I'm expecting a white to come out of this possible. We have hickories and whites in the tar here this year. There's been a lot of hickories showing up too, but uh, really we're after the, white, the bigger white shad here this morning. It looks like it might be one. He's a nice one. I love she, to hear that. She, rather. Oh, look at yes. that fish. Oh, that. oh, boy. That is a nice shad right there. Right. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. Yeah, she's uh. Oh, there, there we go. All right, Brad, we got a nice Tar River white shad. Uh, third cast this morning. I'm going to be real easy with this fish. These fish are on the spawning grounds. Uh, it's important to really take good care of them. If you handle, overhandle them, it'll pinch their... A lot of times pinching their gills or knocking their scales off is not good for them. So we're just going to be nice and gentle with them, not handle them too much, and let, let, let her go. I think that's best. Keep Pretty it. fish, isn't it? It is. Good job, Gorgeous, buddy. Man. Yeah, man. There she goes. Richard, I think there's a few more out there for us. Yeah, let's, get, let's go ahead and get us a second one. That was the first fish of the day, third cast. We need about three or four fish in, in our first ten casts. Okay, all right, let's do it. A couple of double hookups would be nice. That'd be it? nice. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, there's nice, one, Brad. Richard. Pretty work, bud. Yeah, that was a great one. And again, this one's this one's pulling nice and hard. I think we we might have another American here. We'll see. It'd be a great one to follow that last one up. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That it last sure was. Bit. Listen to that drag. Isn't it awesome? That is light tackle, four pound line on this. You thing. don't have and a double. Just, uh, you, really... Looks like you got more than you can handle. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, I actually caught him closer to the bottom this time than uh, than that last one. I, I let this one sink right on down. We, we uh, slowed it down a little yeah, bit. We went through a little short stretch where they weren't hitting, so I, I sunk it down and sure enough. It's funny how it's funny how sometimes these fish will hit it right when it hits the water, but usually the bottom part of the water column is more productive. Well like us so I guess they get tired of the same pattern all the time, right? Yeah well if you're if you're not getting bit, a lot of times just slowing it down will help help tremendously. Yeah, I think that's or, what or I did. Or there. even adding a little bit of weight to your rig, but we're we not we don't have any weight on these rigs today because we're fish we're only fishing in about five feet of water, so it's relatively shallow yeah. here. Yeah. Hopefully I don't beat it off with the net, you never know. <laughs> we'll try to bring it right up to you. Oh man, look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna have to get back here in front of you, Ooh. I think. That's like Florida tarpon fishing. Need some, need some inspector gadget arms here. Reach out and get that one. Uh, I'm trying to bring it in, but I'm just trying to handle <laughs> no, it no, so you're carefully. Do, you're, you're doing it perfect. Don't, not, don't, uh, don't like horse a man. Horsing a man, yeah. you'll make a mistake. Yep. Yeah. I'm just if, trying if, to be if, real if slow. If he throws the hook, he throws the hook. Oh, man, that's a pretty one. Yep. Yeah. I think he shot his boat. He gets real close to the boat and he'll take right off. He, might, right. Th he might think you're ugly. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> you might not be the first one to think. There we go. Awesome. Look at that. Wow. Right. That's, that's what we came. That's what we came to Tar River that's for, Brad. Beauty. There she is, Brad. Big beautiful fish. Yeah, probably you know between three and four pounds. I would have to estimate. Absolutely. You can see the bulge in her belly. You know she's yep. got row sacks in there and hadn't spawned yet, but she will in a few days. We'll let her go back and uh, 
Catch us another one. Let's, let's do that. Watch and learn from professional guides and expert anglers catch over 70 species of fish. Available now on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Google Play, Android, and iOS. Download and subscribe to the Carolina Outdoor Journal app today. Only $2.99 a month with a free 7-day trial or just $29.99 annual subscription.